Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to give an update on this payload dropper project. We're calling it the Drone Blocks Egg Dropper. And I previously demonstrated this Arduino circuit that I kind of cobbled together trying to work on being able to do a 360 rotation, detect that, and then issue the payload drop from the Phantom 4, Phantom 3, any sort of aircraft since there's no GPIO necessary. Well, recently I was at South by Southwest EDU and we were demoing drone blocks at the expo and a friend actually came up and said, hey, you guys need to check out the micro bit. These guys had a booth across from us and I'd never heard of them. This project is out of the UK, led by the BBC and not and these controllers are not currently available here in the States. I've ordered a few off of eBay. They were actually kind enough to give me one of these microcontrollers. And it's based off the ARM Cortex, I think M0. So this is the little board. I've created this 3D printed holder. I'm gonna get it so that it's gonna mount to the Phantom. This is a amazing little controller. You can see that there's uh, IO pins this ARM Cortex processor with Bluetooth built in. I haven't actually tested that. But the really fascinating thing for me was, one, it has the ability to support servos with PWM, and it has a built-in compass, as well as accelerometer. All sorts of great stuff in this little profile. I see there are push buttons there, 25 LED array. And off of eBay Quantity 1, it was $15. I wanted to see if I could get this working. Uh, similar to what I had done for Arduino. And the interesting thing is I originally was programming this in Python, but it's programmable via JavaScript. So I was able to implement the logic in JavaScript. They do have block programming. I think it's a great way for students to be able to learn how to program this device, 3D print it, mount it to the Phantom, and then do a payload drop with drone blocks. So let me demonstrate how this works. The Microbit Go Kit, the Space Kit, comes with this battery case. So it runs off of two AA's, 3.3 volt input. And for those that are asked weight-wise of the previous one, I'm not sure what that circuit weighed, but this currently weighs 80 grams. Now, what I wanna do is demonstrate the 360 rotation. You can see, I actually have some feedback shown here. The X means we're not rotating. Hopefully I can pull this off with the camera. It's a little bit hard with two hands trying to bring it around. And you can see that smiley face. Servo goes up for five seconds. And then it goes back to its default state. So I wanted to share this board with you guys. I'm actually very impressed. I know it looks a little bit gimmicky or childish, but it's awesome. It has push button control. Have that set to toggle the servo. And what I wanna do next is finish up this design so that we have the servo release in place as well as mounts on both sides to put this on the Phantom 3 and 4. Then after that, we'll do some testing in the air and I'll show you guys that. One other thing I wanna mention is that this does have Bluetooth. I have read that it is uh, Bluetooth low energy so the range that I've seen online is actually pretty impressive. So if possible, to pair via Bluetooth, trigger a signal to do the drop. Not really 100% sure if that's possible, but we'll definitely find out and let you guys know. Definitely check out the Microbit website. I'll put a link to it below, and we'll continue to keep you guys updated on the project. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.